Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham in Azores off the coast of Portugal and a lot of people when they come here like to check out the hot springs. So I want to show you what a few of them are really like. Driving around Sao Miguel, you will see signs of volcanic activity. In some areas, steam literally vents from the ground right next to the road. Volcanic activity beneath the surface heats the groundwater, resulting in the hot springs here. The hot springs are all over the island, and they're all pretty different. The most touristy and the most crowded is open day and night. You'll find five hot spring pools in the bustling town of Furnace. The cost is 8 euros for adults and there are extra fees for lockers and towels. This one's open late night with final entry at 10 p.m. And the hot springs are actually often busiest after dark. The water in four of the pools here is about 102 degrees. The cooler pool is 83. It is crowded, so it's more like a communal bath. The constant flow of the water cleans the pools naturally and there are shower facilities to use on the way out. Nearby, Terra Nostra is another popular hot spring located in Furness. Its famous thermal bath is orange in color from the iron and other minerals in the water. This one's about 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The cost is 10 euros to get in. Now, people staying at the hotel on site have far more access than the visiting public. Open swim for the public is only until 4.30. You'll find three more hot spring pools and a waterfall at a natural monument in the mountains. You'll have to book tickets to this one the day before your visit. They're 10 euros each, and each person gets 90 minutes inside. You'll see boiling mud off to the side and another pool of boiling water, way too hot for people. The hot spring pools are usually kept around 99 degrees. At the far end of the trail through the park, you'll find a pretty waterfall, and the water here is much cooler. The most natural of the hot springs is on the west coast of Sao Miguel. It's a volcanic rock pool adjacent to the ocean. You'll feel the hot water coming from below the earth mixing with the waves of cold seawater. It's best to come here at low tide so the waves don't knock you around and into the jagged rocks. The hot springs in the Azores can be visited year round and are really great to visit on rainy days too when the crowds are quite a bit smaller.